We can wrap that one up and say just uh, congratulations to Navi picking up the first win of the Dream League here. Uh, well deserved and uh, a scary Rose kind of comp to go against. To but also Fnatic, some brilliance coming out there with the support Navi's Meepo. And before we ban. go into next game, we're going to talk to Bruno a little bit because we've got Virtus Pro and Navi coming up in just a moment. Yeah. I believe the draft might have even started. But no, Bruno, what do you want to say? There's we don't even have a game. They're that's not what, even in the lobby. That's, okay. that's, that's oh. why I was like, yeah, yeah take was it easy. Like, no, 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 don't worry. Take it easy. It's fine. It's fine. It's the first game. Yeah. Okay. Kim. Uh, I actually wanted to talk because lots of people Rogers here are actually Pros, interested in what's going on with the Fantasy League. You created a Navi's team. We're playing there. Uh, I had a sad I'm time. doing. I'm doing amazingly well. <laughs> with my, I had Trixie and Fly in my team. So you got one and a half, one and a half points. One point six points combined. Yes. For the first game. Oh, no, uh, you had one point seven. And you're right? playing. You're playing against Lumi. I'm yeah. playing against Lumi. Yeah. Has Dendi. So just like a little bit of a wrap up because I have it here. Who was twelve point four points? in this Fantasy League today. Okay. Navi, Dendi, 10.8. Those two are the highest. On the other side, we have Fly with 0 0.4 and um, Trixie with 1.3. Well, who did you have, Navi Honey? Um, I had Honey and Honey also Kuro. Well. Yeah, I know. Honey was the highest scoring yeah. on, on Six, Fnatic. On Fnatic, 6.6. And .6. Kuro was the highest uh, scoring support yep. in it's the game. 8 .5. And I got a total of like 15 points for the first game. Mm. And I was playing against uh, Andy, and Andy forgot to put in Funic. Funic. <laughs> <laughs> so he, instead of getting 13 points, Navi's I still would have won. Doesn't matter. He got like seven. Get it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Could have been better. But uh, you're playing against um, Lumi, Lumi, right? Who had it, you got one point and one and a half points. What, what, who did you have in the team, Lumi? I had Dendi. 10.8. I just, I don't know. And I, I think you had someone else. else. Probably anybody else. Didn't you have Era? Yeah, I think you had Era. Navi's Did I? No, I have Era. Oh, okay. Well, some, yeah. you had like I could check right 18 now. points or something yeah, like I had that. 18 so. points. I'm just wrecking it. So you probably had Puppy. Dendi and Puppy, I guess. Uh, I'm trying I to had, guess. I had Puppy, yeah. Yeah, Puppy 7.9. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, yeah. warming up, seconds. getting so I'm, just, I'm, I'm destroying Andy, who was literally saying that he's going to destroy everybody. Yeah. Five and this week, I'm just going to hey, hey, destroy hey. you. It's one match out of nine. No, it doesn't you know, matter. You know what can happen in the next eight matches? Dude, everything can change. I picked the player, not the role. You guys are just rollists. Rollist. You are picking all your carries. I pick like, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, so hopefully you guys are have, playing Fantasy League at home and having fun as well. Uh, now we're going to go into... Um, Navi versus VP. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had Fnatic VP in my higher notes and Navi That's VP not. at the bottom, so we'll go with the bottom one. So Navi versus VP. Andy, how are we looking with the... There's no even Lada. ladder here. Oh, okay. That's why I'm Good. stretching. Well, something. he's yelling at me. Going, We're going yeah, into the draft I, now. Is yeah. there... The oh. The, the draft is okay, on the way. Okay. Um, <laughs> the draft is on we got the way. some problems. Yes. You <laughs> had to increase the number in the in <laughs> no uh, i did i've done this before believe it or not oh, i was sorry. here last time so and i changed the number to the next number on the list well at least oh, the game never I showed up the draft. At, at least Just you didn't check your pick. fantasy points backstage and accidentally hit f9 instead of uh, f8 <laughs> i've had it up this whole time and i got it's nothing i can't okay. like you, we can well, we can do this from the preview monitor yeah, yeah okay Let's go. All right, I don't know how that's possible. We're not the ops, right? Scriff is not. No, we're yeah. not the ops. Yeah, no, so. no, the weapons no, is there, so it. we'll have the, the draft screen. But I mean, they still have to remake. They still have I to mean, remake, because just, otherwise... Yeah. I could cast we could just go all set in production and yeah, watch it there. Yeah, we could take a camera with us as well. Yeah. 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 Like the real Five world dream league. Anyways, the draft is on the way. And we're two picks in for each team. Okay. Oh, I'm glad Mims to know that we started the game Milton's without us obviously not li listening to me, because he keeps saying to me, we really need the draft now, James. We really, <laughs> <laughs> we really need the draft. And I'm like, I can't bring you the draft. <laughs> Andy's not in the game, Milton. <laughs> Lumi's not in the game. I did my best. Uh, oh, show the us the draft. Can you, can you bring us up yeah, the draft somehow? Yeah, is in the draft. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, we can hey. see it. Hey. We can do it together. Yeah, hey. look, Dondo and Boker. Probably means Lumi's gonna get a lot more points. There you go, easy. Jesus. And probably I've, Enigma, he's I've gonna push Kuro. towers. You know how much points towers are worth? One point each? Wow, no, wow that's yeah. a lot, actually. Yeah, that's a lot. One. Jesus. Yeah, okay, so now the previous screen is close enough so that Andy can actually read it. I can see! You can, can see! Because Andy has really bad eyesight, the lovely camera lady, Sarah, not She gets me, man. Not available. I think it's Sora. <laughs> um, has pushed the screen closer Are to... Uh, Andy's face. What's up? It's good. Never mind. I just corrected it on how you pronounce her name. Sara. Sara. I'm just amazed as to how Sora. this transpired. Like, how did Roger's it get so far out of control so quickly? I don't know. I just. <laughs> Who do you want to compare? Come on. Let's talk Who about Kavos and Illy then. It's fun. All right.
Okay, we're doing a, a four man this because it's completely out of control anyway. <laughs> so, um. Let's get Shane up here. Give him a mic. Yeah. Shane, come here. Just camera, summon Shane up. out of like. <laughs> Do you remember Illidan? Like, I want to go back maybe a year ago. Uh, T3 Ten qualifiers. Mm -hmm. This guy was the guy that did all the weird skill builds. Five right. He got one the point on Dragonout uh, spin. The no breathe fire Dragonite. Yeah. Yeah. The no breathe fire max Dragon Tail. Reserve time. Still to this day <laughs> cannot abide by that build. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What what does a check mark mean? They, that that's that how means they the categories win. that they Wait, have okay. over yeah, the other person. Exactly. Uh, do you not watch the dream? But let's remember, just... one of those checks is irrelevant because one of them is deaths. No, so exactly. that means that... No, no, no. Uh, it's oh, no, wait, it's no, lower. It's yeah, okay. Around. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Less death. Got it, got it. You're better. Sometimes James, it takes me a little while. James, you don't understand is I'm, I'm playing the, the dumb role to make sure that the viewers at home that's obviously asking the same question <laughs> to now get a clear explanation from Bruno, James, and Andy. <laughs> <sighs> like how sometimes I ask, hey, Andy, should he have gone Lincoln's? You know, it's like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not a bad question. Exactly, yes. I think we fill that role perfectly right, well anyways, ourselves. Thank and, you very uh, much, yeah, Lumi. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Lich. Okay. Okay, so you guys, since we're going here, let me place the heroes in the lanes or something. So Navi, Navi invoker mid. Turn to pick. I think so. Oh, VP just got it back. could also be safe lane, but it's less likely. Mm -hmm. I just, I think that most invokers are always quas wax, always mid. Okay, so let's assume for a fa for a moment that we have Bat Rider mid. Out of those four heroes, would you put Bat Rider mid from Virtus Pro? You have Leech, Bat Rider. Bench. Or Marana. Marana oh, yeah. actually fares decently well against Quaswex because yes. the base damage is so low. And mm -hmm. G really likes to play Marana. He plays yeah. that a lot. Okay, let's go with Ten Marana mid then. Ten seconds remaining. Um, whoops. Five seconds remaining. Like, I'm also like incredibly tired oh. of seeing Marana in pub games because every time I play a game, I just Thanks. have arrows flying Reserve past me time. the whole game. It's really okay. frustrating. Just that pressure of knowing that there's a Marana not on the map. She's one of my favorite heroes right now, just because how versatile she is. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you can get involved anywhere. Maybe not as much as the Meepo support, but still. Should we actually thank Sing Sing for that? I think he was the guy that brought Marana into the competitive meta yes, game. Yes, yes. Uh, back at the MLG tournament in MLG Columbus. Columbus, yeah. Yeah. Shoot arrow, hit arrow. I think that's how I'm looking it. forward no, to yeah, uh, win, win MLG game. Anaheim. That should be a great Dota 2 tournament. Sure. Yeah. Lotus Pro's yeah, I mean, turn lots of teams. Bang. Very, very good games. So, going back to Dream League for a second, I'm please. okay. <laughs> um, Enigma. Does Jungle? Enigma ever offlane anymore? Not really. He There's can. no reason to. He can. He can. It's offlane yeah. Nyx, man. Yeah, it's like, offlane. I know. But <laughs> you, you're playing the dumb role. Right? Yes. <laughs> Bruno, can you do <laughs> this? Look, okay, Bruno guys, we can't know. all play the <laughs> okay, dumb okay, role. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. What if we do? <laughs> what if we do? <laughs> we just ask questions, but no one has any answers. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Bruno didn't even know the disruption doesn't stop Chen Sen back, okay? What didn't even know? You, you made a similar mistake. No, Lumi made a similar mistake. A uh, mechanic mistake like two what? minutes later. What? What? You, you so You're like, I had to disrupt him because of the Chen Sen back. And we're like, Bruno, that would have saved him. No, he would have just got back to base for free. Yeah, but he pick. didn't. You don't know. That's because he didn't get back. sent back. Yeah. That Chen wasn't even there. He was like level three. Whatever, man. Maybe I knew that Chen wasn't there and I'm I was just it. making you mad. Well, that worked. Aha. Congratulations. <laughs> so, Navi, they pick up ES. They've got a very difficult team to engage into, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, here's, a, here's a dumb question, Andy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, is Earthshaker pick as a way to kind of counteract Navi's against Batrider initiation? He come in with the blink lasso, it's you fissure him, and then you just wreck the Batrider. pretty good. Okay. Yeah. It's good and until Nyx is great, step. too. I mean, they have a lot of oh, counteractions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Tornado EMP is good to stop it. Then you have Nyx Carapace and stun. Then you have Earthshaker stun. Then you have potentially a blink Enigma at some point sure, in the game. Sure. But VP have gone for the five range, drow, aura, kill all. Maybe it's going to be Arteezy's blink Midas Mjolnir drow. Who knows? Actually, Venge this is, drow. Yeah, Venge drow aura. This is insane yeah. damage Ten output. Big damage. Remaining. I really like the fact that uh, teams are coming in with strats for this league. Five seconds remaining. Virtus Pro is a best of one going up against Na'Vi. You know, you don't expect them to bring to bring in Reserve a Venge drow. Just mm -hmm. I think heroes like Sniper and Drow are actually going to be seen probably a little bit more now, just because once players start actively using them, even if it's just in pubs, and they show the potential of the hero, like Drow is good at mowing down towers. If or like Higgins, just because of how much damage her ulti actually gives her. It just gives, it gives a little bit of brainstorming capability to drafting, you know? I want to say I saw who was playing Storm. Right. Yes. Mm. Yes, and he has I played it before. And I didn't see Storm play Invoker. Uh, Storm play Invoker, no, that's a bit hard. Havos play Invoker. So I'm thinking this is hey, a safe lane Storm. Havos played Carolina before. 
can't really know for it. <laughs> it it didn't well. work out <laughs> great, okay? It went well. I'm just being honest. It wasn't fantastic, <laughs> but I liked where his heart was at. He wanted to kill, Prepare and he wanted to acquire battle. gold through killing enemies, right? Hmm. So we're just going to not even... Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they Level one smoke. You don't, you don't yeah. have to remake. It's fine. We'll just yeah, we'll quadcast yeah, we'll, this you've, right now. Well, if you're okay casting off the screen, we, we yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, you don't have the ability to click anything. You have oh, to, okay. You're going to have to tell webpads to go look at things you want to no yeah, no, it's, it's almost like I've also done this before. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you did. Oh, you have done this? Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 he didn't have uh, the studio when we didn't have a computer uh, for him. Yeah, I've done it all, man. Can we drop down the last menu, though? There. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Lessons no, are really important before the Christmas. Webpass is very obedient. We've been training him at the so house. So <laughs> 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 right, I'm going to let you guys oh, take oh, this game away. Fight. Here comes Sticky Nate. Paul can see a stun on the most of the block. And the arrow connects on the back of it. VP looking at the potential first blood. Who gets it? Looks like it's Illidan. All right, man. I get it. Get out of here. You bastards. Yeah, we're leaving. I'm going to grab the chair, Andy. All right, go grab the chairs. First blood acquired. Some gold in the pocket of Drow, which is pretty needed gold, I would say, considering Drow's one of those hard carries who does pretty well with items last time I checked. Yeah. Okay, so actually, uh, I got a like a curious question. This is not a dumb question. You, you think that the Storm begins. is actually going to do much against Drow? Is that the reason why they picked it, like the Storm, against well, Drow? Like you zip in and you're going to go to work? Yeah, I mean, if you get the silence, I think it's actually a bit easier to land now. That they made it a frontal cone, like kind of works as like deafening does, but way yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a bit easier to land that because you can be no, farther no, no, no. away. I meant, I meant picking storm to counter draw, not the other way. Around. Oh, you mean jump on the draw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Cause, I think cause you Navi had the last pick. Yeah, I think you can get away with it just because the only way to stop that is the bat rider, and you already know you have three methods of stopping the bat rider. So it's like whoever gets the better initiation is pretty much going to win the fight just flat out. So okay. in that regard, I would still give Navi a bit of an advantage. In. Ooh, this is very interesting. Yeah. Jada went for Nova first. Screw that sacrifice. Got to do that damage. All right. I, I, I wonder if he skilled that uh, at the level yeah, one level fight. Yeah, level one fight for most sure. Likely. There is that. Dendi's going to be doing okay against mid, but I think Havol's going to really have a tough time on the bottom lane. Well, he's going to have a tough time already just because he died. But right. against the Bat Rider, I don't really think he does that well because having to walk in so close just to be able to remnant for CS, that still puts you in a pretty dangerous position. And Storm actually got his base movement speed nerfed. So he's five speeds slower than before, which means that there's potential for um, very, very aggressive tower diving from a Bat Rider in those situations. So we'll see how well it gets played out. But I still think that Navi's draft is a bit more solid during the mid game, but it does have its potential during that time and then it starts to fall off. Again, once the BKB comes out, or like similar to how the Meepo fell off last last game? Yeah, just when your team is primarily comprised around dealing magic damage, like ES, Invoker, even Storm to an extent does a heck of a lot of magic damage, and Nyx is pretty much all magic damage, mm -hmm. there's going to reach that like 30, 35 minute point where BKBs are going to start coming out on sure. the Drow, maybe the Mirana even, and then you're going to have not a great time. Yeah, I think that that's where Navi will start have to rely on things like Hexus on your Invoker, uh, Storm going in and prevent BKB from going off, or maybe even the Black Hole to deal with those BKB. But that's very, very far off from then. So we'll kind of leave that point. But Virtus Pro so far with the first blood doing okay. Kuroki finds a haste rune, but I don't really think he could do much. Do you think that Kuroki should be a mid and just keep Invoker safe? Or do you think he should be a bot and keep the Storm safe? It feels like both lane needs a little bit of help. I think keeping the Storm, storm safe is a better bet because if you're going mid, the Lich is going to be sacrificing creeps every single wave sure, anyway. Yeah. So there's no real way you're going to deal with that. And then you're splitting the experience even thinner between you and a hero who needs levels a heck of a lot more than you do. Sure, Storm is level reliant, but he also needs a bit of breathing room to be able to farm up for what I would hope is going to be a fast Orchid for him. But I'm not really kind of seeing it right now. And yeah, it looks like Kuro's just decided to make the transition to the bottom lane and just try to do what he can. But even this, I don't feel like this is really favoring Navi that much just having a second person down here because what happens if Kuro pulls? He can just walk Denied. down and do whatever he wants. He doesn't have to worry about dying because he knows that Havos doesn't have high enough level and pull to really threaten him with a fissure. You know? Yeah. Pulling against a bat rider is somewhat dangerous because when you have the creep wave on your tower, it's very easy for the bat rider to dive. The only thing that Storm has against that is using the remnant and maybe counter pull, but it seems like our bat rider is going to go straight into the camp and take a little bit of experience here. Yeah, he's going to get some. And I would read his name because I know I, exactly James what James gave us that like feedback. He's like, say the player names, but I can't I, read I, I it, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm blind. I'm legally that blind. Looks, that looks like a Z or a Harry Potter thunder mark. 
We'll call him Thunder. Yes, it'll be good. Yeah. Or All I'm right. blind. So, two lanes right now, I would say pretty heavily, actually maybe even three, favoring VP. Because the Drow is the highest on the farm right now, by a pretty good margin, I would say. Mm -hmm. So Illidan's obviously having a good time. He got first blood too. And then Dyer's you have bottom, where... Is under attack. This is a gank is coming, Fissures. Oh, yeah. the Fissure block Enigma, so that's going to be it. And uh, Thunder easily makes it out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I know, man. It's it's actually, it's pretty difficult. Me but we'll, we'll man up. We'll, we'll make it through, man. Just me and you. Yeah. All right. Looks like with the Lich leaving here, uh, Shadow Fiend, or not Shadow Fiend, Dendi is uh, now taking control of that mid lane just a little bit before Ennis now roaming down. I don't think they actually could get a kill on Dendi, especially with three points. Has to be a long arrow in order to get this kill. Oh, like, she has to be up. in a really good spot. Maybe he could do the lead girl and then follow it up. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, he no. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Can he invoke fast? Nope. He tried to turn for the tornado, but he couldn't quite get it. So, so a tiny thing that Dendi did there, uh, which uh, you should try to do if you're playing Invoker, he, when he saw the initiation com coming, he put triple three cross. Yeah, triple cross, yeah. which gives you regen. Didn't help him there, but in some smaller cases, it might give him uh, a chance to survive. The other thing is, too, is if you go triple cross before you get stunned, all you have to do is hit W and then invoke and then ghost walk. Yes. You don't have to hit like the QQW, you don't have to hit the whole thing. You just have to hit three buttons instead of what is it, five? So, definitely, uh, even though he died, you know, pretty high level stuff. Yeah. Doing the correct thing. So Drow Ranger, uh, for, for those of you guys that haven't seen him, in, in, in her, excuse me, pro games too much, she is kind of a different beast of a carry slash semi carry. She gets online very, very quickly and kind of a mid game beast. So uh, we'll, we'll see if Illidan's gonna, gonna maybe push a lot of towers or maybe take an early Roshan using that early agility from marksmanship. You can just get a Dominator and solo it at level seven or six. Like that's how much damage he does. Because if you stand at the edge of the Roshan pit, he doesn't sit and hit you the whole time. He'll actually back up for about two or three swings, which okay. is usually enough for you to steal enough life back to be able to tank it just indefinitely. And if you get a Frost Armor or something like that, or even have Venge standing nearby or, or get an arrow wolf. from mid, right? It's very, very easy to steal. But I think that Navi are pretty keen to that. And Storm is already level six, so Havos is gonna be able to do some work starting a little bit soon. At the very least, he can TP for counter ganks now, if he had a TP, which is pretty important. But bottom, okay, RP. yeah, he's gonna get lasso. He wants to drag him up to the high ground, but he got double stunned. I'm not even. Yeah, he's not even gonna make it, unfortunately. But he's gonna get frost blast. Puppy looks like he's gonna be in a bit of trouble. Firefly still up. Courier oh, coming in as well. Arrow. The arrow it looks like wow, that actually hit. <laughs> not look like it was gonna make contact there, but G he secures the kill from mid long distance. Puppy on my fantasy league. I don't know, man. That was not a. That was a good rune check. But, Dude, you uh, can't even complain. I forgot yeah, to put yeah. a player in. That, okay. That's not my fault. But I, I, I lost. I, I freaking lost, man. Not hey, good. It's it's only for this day, right? Don't don't they compare the entire points? Yeah, it's like the week? entire team because every week every player right, right, right. actually plays in a game. So. so it's not until the end of the week that we'll know who actually won. Okay, so we're good. Oh, Meanwhile, looks like thank you, Skeleton. He's gonna be getting a kill, and Funak in top lane with the help. Very curious how that happened if Skiff was showed us. That was not Skiff, it's Webus. Or Webus. Oh, Puppy, he's gonna find that ass yep. in the woods. There's oh, the... My shadow. The, yeah. He's gonna make it out. Oh yeah, the sentry. Okay, we're good, we're good. Rest in peace, NS. That was some serious behind enemy line stuff, but even <laughs> given that, they gave Illidan another kill. So I still think it's worth it. Oh, actually, very curiously, to, to point this out, there is a enemy of... Oh, God, I'm taking a little bit of, He's not going to die from this. I don't think so, but as I say that here, in health of long range, not going to hit Whoa. Tornado, and barely enough damage. What a play from Dendi. That was pretty impressive stuff. I did not expect that from happening. Gito coming up from Star, so not going to hit here. What a cat pace. This cancels the play. leap. Gee, he is dead. Wow, that was... Really sick, actually, by Puppy. Caught him right in the edge. I am not ballsy enough to ever try black holes like that. You know what Dyer's I mean? Like, I go for the, you have to be in the center of yeah, my yeah, circle, yeah, black yeah. holes. I'm not taking the risk. But he just knows the hero so well that he's like, you know what, man? I'll catch you on the edge. Sure, no problem. No big deal. Here I saw a uh, observer war on the ancient camp for Navi, but it looks like it disappeared now. And I, I was wondering why that was there. Man, what's it like to be able to see the minimap? Radiant's see it top at all. tower is under attack. <laughs> oh man, oh man, uh, Drasko needs his reading glasses. Dude, it's bad. It's like, it's it's almost like I'm watching Kaleidoscope Dota from here. 
which is why I can desperately need to be in the lobby. Can you see the drow putting Radiant up mad deeps on a tower, though? Fortified. I can't actually see how much health is being taken from the tower, but I know it's a drow, Radiant's so I know it's probably a decent amount. Okay. Phonic's going to pop the vendetta. Oh, yeah. Here comes Havos. They want to jump straight onto Illidan. Even tries for a TP. Very optimistic, and it's going to be pretty much a free kill here oh, there for go. Navi and Havos. He gets it, but he did buy his home of the Dominator before he died. I could see that, you know, I can make out basic attack. shapes. Okay. It's just hard to see most stuff. Tornado on the dendy, gonna throw out the EMP afterwards. Puppy's there to throw out the Malefus as well. Looks like Jotam's gonna be taking a fall there. TP coming in. It's gonna be an S, but he can't really do anything here. I mean, he just TP'd to pay oh, homage to his teammate. Cold snap. And Dendi wants to go back in. I don't think it's off cooldown. Yeah, still Dyer's seven seconds left. Okay. That was seven, attack. right? Yes. Holy shit. You're, you're, you're getting it. I'm concentrating, man. Yeah. I have to, like, focus really hard to be able to see. It's good, it's good. So, you know, earlier you were talking about how, as we have... Radiant's and bottom Dendi, tower Like, he just attack. comes in for a couple of right clicks, and we're saying, oh, no, there, there's no way he's going to get the kill because he doesn't have cold snap. Dyer's but if you continuously harass attack. like this, the next opportunity you have that cold snap, you do get the kill. And you can see that uh, the Vengeful Spirit... Uh, escapes me right now. Man. NS is NS, having yeah. a tough time. Moonlight Shadow is going to be used. I think they're going to try to set up a kill on the mid lane on a black hole-less puppy. I think they should be able to get it one stun. Oh, he even goes for the swap I, first. I Here comes the lasso as well. Blink on the Batrider. Nice care pace by Funding. Actually gets an impale onto the Chain Frost. is going to be used as well. And the Vendetta hit will secure the kill on John. Funnick is going to be paying with his life, however. Wow, that, that bounce. What? Like, what the heck Ten was bounces. that? Ten bounces, man. And were you talking about no, the long the range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like an eight to nine hundred range bounce. Curl. Actually walking by his friend. So apart from that good engagement from Brutus Pro, we talked about how Brutus Pro had the better lanes. Dyer's what made Navi kind of had this good top. comeback here as they were kind of taking the lead as well. Oh, Bovos, he's, he's, he's fine. He's fine. fine. Yeah, there's no silence from Drow. Um, yeah, what allowed Navi to actually have this kind of crazy comeback throughout these kind of uh, early games? It's just the. The area control that they have is so large, like behind a storm, even a tornado and a fissure are very long range that a lot of people have a hard time perceiving how far away you have to actually be to, to be safe. Okay. You know what I mean? So a lot of these fights, I think, just happen simply because BP thinks they're safe when they're really yeah. not. Like this, for example. And as thinks he's okay. Long range follow up. He's, he's not good. He's, he's really, he's dead. You know? It's not, it's not great. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And the attack. problem of all these long range spell means for Illidan is that he really won't have a good area to farm in. Like he, he can't farm that top lane, for example. So I think with that helm of uh, the mask of whatever the life item is called, <laughs> he should be jungling a little bit more. I, I think that once you lose your tier ones and you're a drow, yes. suddenly your game becomes really freaking difficult, especially when you die again. And that's going to be a killing speed yeah. for Havos. Era from G makes contact on Havos. He's pretty much totally out of mana. He's actually got two Oblivion staffs towards his orc, and here comes Blink, and they're going to find Kuro. Lasso's there. Another nice care pace from Funnick. His reactions have been more or less spot on so far. Dendi from the back throws out an EMP. Looks like Earthshaker is going to end up going down, so Kuro not too happy about that, but they should be able to pick up G. He actually aggressively leaped in to go for a support kill. Dendi in the meantime, he's going to be picking off Jonathan Black Hole on just one, despite for the Vengeful Spirit. Batrider, the only one left. Thunder, he's trying to make it out. It ain't gonna happen. Looks like a tier one's gonna be coming off the back of this too. And a lot of this to me is simply Navi knowing when they have to take the fights, where they have to take them, and how the best thing they can do to stop Illidan from really getting the game that he wants. Yeah, to me this just shows that sometimes it doesn't matter if you don't have the best lane in terms of draft. I have to remind you that Stormster had to solo against the Batrider. Well, I say solo, Kuroki was there with the Earthshaker sometimes. But I mean, Havolst has, what, 11, 12-minute Orchids yeah. for... And Treads. For losing... Yeah, and, and Treads. not like he just rushed it. For losing the lane. And it, when I say losing lane, he didn't have a good time there. Shows you, like, yeah, you just take advantage of the weakness of this drought, teleport up top lane, and just get, what, three, four, five kills. And now you're now you're Gucci. You're ganking now. Suddenly, game isn't so bad. And it looks like Dendi is actually going for Yules. Now, how do you feel about Quaswex Yules? Because I know... I like it, actually, in a lot of cases, because it's very easy to make sure that you guarantee your EMP. Sure. Since so many invokers who go this build have pretty low levels of invoke, given the level that they are. Some people opt to go one exort just for things like deafening and ice wall. That's actually what I do, but Dendi has opted to go for the too early invoke. How do you feel about what this is actually going to have to wait because it's not like super dead? Yeah. But, you know, you could probably just answer anyway because he, he wasn't said. really getting away <laughs> yeah. from that. Uh, I actually, perhaps he got it for more of the utility reasons, like how, how it's good. It, obviously, mono regen, the the Dyer's movement speed works so well attack. when you have things like phase and, and the three uh, wex orbs. Um, 
the, the ability to cancel silence from Draw Ranger. When Batrider comes in and lasso one of your allies, you take him up in the air. I just think like all of the other things it does for you, in addition to all those, uh, you know, the EMPness that you talked about, I just think it's a great attack. item. Sure, it's not giving you like a Deathwing Blast and then and, and, uh, uh -oh. Sun Strike and all that stuff, but it's a Sentry still a great item. Sentry down, Kuro sees him. He goes for an enchant instead of using Echo first, so he's going to eat an arrow to the face. Ends up dropping immediately. Blink still up, but he's going to get hit by a Tornado. Dendi very nicely done. Stops the blink counter initiation coming out from BP. But fine, I think, because I mean that was a three four man smoke gank, and they got an earth shaker, and they will re. Well, it was Marana up. ulti. Oh, well, it was it? Yeah. Okay. All right, now they will re uh, smoke up for the first time, and then you now go for Hovos. But how how do you actually get them? You have to get a silence and then a magic Dyer's missile, perhaps, or maybe a swap into attack. a silence. I think it's too hard actually yeah. to gank him because yeah, blink lasso. you can silence farther away than you can actually auto attack on that hero. And plus, it pushes him back. Yes. So you're basically throwing him away while one in the arrow. It's funny. It does Dyer's stun him. Here comes the EMP combo onto poor, poor Thunder. He, he ends up going down. Orchid on a shot. I'm not going to see a Chain Frost coming out just yet. And Navi, they want to pursue this. Illidan still stuck in the high ground. Defensive swap from NS wants to get into the tower, but Funic will not be denied. Throws at the Impale. It's going to be a double for Funic, and then he gets a kill in the meantime. Poor Lich, man. He, he feels like the Trixie of this game. He just unfortunately couldn't get his ulti. They're diving on an S now. Arrow is going to land on Puppy, but gee, what really can he do at this point? He can leap out. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. he did. <laughs> but I'm just saying, VP feels incredibly behind just yes. in every sense. They just don't have a solidified way of taking a good fight. Yeah, Even with Blink Initiation, they can't do anything. I mean, Blink Initiation is nice, but they could only, like, they, they barely kill one. And it's now with things like Yule Scepter, Fissure, those long, way, long range way of attack. dealing with it, they just have no way to now to kind of continuously win the fight. Kuroki, as well as Adendi, just tanking this tier one tower. They really want this one. We're gonna wait Dyer's for when Glyph comes out. And they, no, they're gonna tank it a little bit more. Okay. LTP's coming in, NS going down. The MP can be used. NS is not even getting a spell off. He just TP to the death. That was unfortunate. So, tower and a support down. Yule's gonna be used on Jeep, and he's gonna casually leap away. So, my question is do you have any Navi players on your fantasy league? Um, I actually don't think I you do. Yeah, Funic, but you don't have him. In no, this I game. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Funic, but he's not. Man, why isn't Funic playing for me right now? Funic, please. Funic is wrecking right now. I mean, I can't be mad at him. It's my fault. You know, he could be getting me some sick points. I could be crushing James, but instead, I just totally forgot to put him in. Yeah. Fortunate. I, I know I have Dendi and I have Puppy, and they're uh, they're both doing very well. Exactly. Your team is you're playing against Bruno, right? Yeah, Bruno's a knockover. So. Yeah, yeah. Bruno's got like one attack. half of a point. See, uh, the fantasy league doesn't reward you more for how hard you're winning. It just gives you the same amount of points right. regardless of yeah. You just win. Radiance Blank Middle Tower is going to eat a Malthus. Radar coming out as well from Dendi. Long range. MP is going to follow, but it's going to whiff. When you're this far far ahead, uh, here's an easy question to, to answer. When you're this far ahead, how, how do you close out a game for, for some of our more, like a newer viewers? Okay, so if you're Navi, you clearly have pretty darn good initiation potential. The best thing to do is to Dyer's always keep lanes pushed, always occupy fallen. your enemy's jungle, and as seldom as you can, retreat to your side of the map, because the name of the game is pressure, and you either win by initiation and just taking really good fights, or you win by asphyxiating the team that you're playing against by just consuming the whole map. Instead of giving them three lanes in a jungle to farm, you just and go exactly deep. Exactly like this, right? Yeah. Roaming behind tier two, gets one kill. You get him where you think they're safe. Oh man, the blink in, the blink out here. Illidan's gonna get swapped back here by Ennis. Nice lasso, but immediate Yule Scepter. That's the utility. Nice silence here coming out from Illidan to keep his ally safe. And he's actually going in here. Nero's gonna hit, but they just don't have enough damage output. Navi's fighting behind tier two towers. Oh, they're gonna stuff. win this fight easily. Where's the one man black hole? It's not mana. He's gonna get. He a wants bit. to, man. He oh, really man. wants to. He blinks back out. I don't blame him. Yeah. I don't blame him. But yeah, typically this is, is pretty attack. textbook Navi, to be honest. They yep. know as soon as they have an advantage, they start taking fights all over the place. They always give themselves multiple ways to start engagements. They can do it with Dendi. They can do it with Havost. They can even do it with Funic honestly, or Puppy at this point, because he has a Blink Dagger. So there's multiple methods for them to play aggressive, which is what they love to do. Dunn and Mule's there was a little bit mistimed, and Nero's going to be a bit off the mark, but NS, nonetheless, going to be going down. 
And it's 21 to 9. I think that VP are kind of running out of options very quickly here. I think that's kind of obvious, as was that ward placement, so I wouldn't be surprised to yeah, see that <laughs> immediately get sentried. But, uh, you know, Kuro, he, he did it, man. He did his best. You gotta try sometimes. If you get away with that ward, you get so much vision. So it's, it's you could try. So here's a harder to answer question. If you're VP, you're so far behind with carries such as Marana as well as Drought that needs a lot of room to get back into the game. Well, I was gonna ask how they're gonna get back in the game. It does not start by Illidan getting picked off like this. Well, I don't know if he's even gonna go down. Deddy still has a tornado. Yeah, oh, he blinks forward. Okay. Very aggressive. Kuro coming Dude, in from the side. Pavos gets G in the meantime. And yeah, that's gonna be another black hole chain for us. Doing quite a bit of work here. Unfortunately, Jotham's not gonna seal any kills with it. And it looks like three down again on the side of EP. So Dyer's I'll tell you how to not get back in the game. Attack. Don't do that. Yeah. But it's yeah, really it's hard. Not their fault. Like when you have so many blinks, let's count out the blinks. So if you have one on Invoker, you have one on Funic, you have one on Puppy, and then obviously Havos has one built in naturally. Right. It's actually better than a blink. There, yeah. Costs mana, but that I think it's worth the mana cost given what it attack. actually. Given that it's free, you don't have to spend 21.50, you know? I'm just saying. Yeah. It's not bad. I love this draft from Navi because it's very fitting for their style of play. And whenever they get lineups like this, and Dyer's I'll be honest, Funix Nyx has got to be like the best Nyx. I don't think there's anybody Dyer's who plays that hero better than him. Like every attack. stun hits multiple heroes. And let's remember, it's not a targeted stun anymore. Yep. This is like, Ooh. you got to line it up. Okay, long arrow hits. I, that doesn't no matter. Way that, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Moonlight Shadow is not going to work here. Illidan gets figured, and Tornado's going to come in. Storm as well as wow. Nindy. What a initiation. Look at it. When, when these guys go, they Dyer's all go. Coordination is insane. Yeah. I mean, this does not look like the Na'vi that I saw in the MLG TKO. Yeah. This looks like a Na'vi who came to win. Yeah, this looks like the TIT, the TIT finals Na'vi, where they are wrecking hard. And they make it look easy. 28 to 9 is the final score. Yeah, no doubt. I, I have to say, I didn't think that VP's draft was necessarily terrible by any means, but I do think that it left themselves pretty vulnerable during the mid-game. We were talking about how they kind of had to make it to a point where they could actually get BKBs. Na'vi just never gave them the opportunity. Right. Even though the lanes didn't go phenomenally well for they Navi. They got first blood, remember? Yeah, they got Havos. first... Well, right, but he got first blooded, right? No, no, I'm saying, yeah, VP did well early. They got first blooded, yeah. or they, they first blooded somebody, they won mid because...